your home debut goes as, as manager, that, that <coughs> couldn't have gone too much better. Yeah, we could, we could have won the game. <laughs> no, I'm being greedy there. Uh, yeah, listen, I thought I thought we were really good. Um, I thought the boys were were amazing in terms of the shape, you know, the, the discipline they showed, um, how we moved and slid with the ball, um, you know, all the, the nitty gritty stuff of the game, track and runners, you know, because it is a different shape for them. Um, and I thought then when we when we counted, I thought we, you know, a little bit more luck, a little bit more detail, we could have hurt them. Um, so in terms of that, it's a good point for us. Um, obviously, you changed the, the formations of four four two, maybe a bit more directly. Gives some youth players a chance. So, I mean, you seemingly installed quite a big change in, in just a matter of a few days. Yeah, I don't think it's um, it's massive, but it's just looking at the squad um, and trying to get the boys that have been in there like slogging away all season. You know, we've got a thin a thin senior squad in terms of who we have available and um, we've got we've got a lot on the treatment table so it was just getting some legs in to help them boys you know because they, they put their bodies through it every week um, you know the likes of it was great to be able to give AC a rest um, today because you know he's he puts himself out there you see when he comes on he's you know he's, he's a physical player contact is always there um, so to, to, get, to give him a rest today keep him fresh it was a massive plus and I thought Kelvin done well I thought the young boys coming on um, Kelvin A, Kelvin E, Mamadi, I thought they'd done really well when they came on and they gave us a bit of energy. So I think at times that's just what you need is to get, you know, get a breather in the back line. Um, and, and thankfully it worked today. And a real good atmosphere as well from, from uh, you know, nearly 20,000 there. It was really good uh, yeah. filter through onto the pitch it seemed. Yeah, it, was, yeah it, it did and it does. You know, and I, I emphasise this that the, the crowd here plays such a big part. You know, you, you can see when we when we jump and we break through lines and, and we go forward, you know, it really gets them off their feet and you can hear the noise, the volume increase. Um, and that's what gives players buzzes, you know, that's what they feed off. So the more noise, the better. And it must give you real belief now going into the final four games of the season um, that you can pull yourselves out of the bottom three. Yeah, listen, it's, just, it's, it's, a, it's a valuable point, a really valuable point. Um, today's focus was, was, you know, getting a result, um, keeping our record, which was a part of the team talk, our 106 record. I don't mind sharing it. We said we don't mind sharing it, but we don't lose it because um, they're an incredible side. Um, and I think they'll be right there, thereabouts with, with the record come the end of the season. I think uh, I think they'll be champions this time next week. And rightly so, they're, they're incredible at what they do. They've got players in every area of the pitch that can hurt you. Um, so in terms of that, we've just got to take one game at a time. That's the first one down. We've got four more left, but we'll just now look forward and concentrate on the Luton. How much have you enjoyed it? Have you sort of pinched yourself at all? Uh, <laughs> Enjoyment's a strong word, Johnny. Yeah. I have that a moment, to be fair. Yeah, I, I, I have that a moment. I've tried just to keep calm and um, focus everything I can on the team, on our team. Um, and the game's coming up, so I haven't probably took that time to just settle and breathe. Because when you do take that time and you drift off, it, you drift straight into football. You know, and then that, that, that pit in the stomach comes and that nerves, you give yourself your nerves. So. It's trying to probably stay in the, in the present at times. Um, a good friend of me said, you know, don't go the voice bats because, you know, it takes your mind off anything just to stay, to try to keep that, you know, that, that heartbeat down. So, um, it's, yeah, it's been it's been different, that's for sure. It seemed like you were really edging to get on the, on the sidelines. You were really getting involved and encouraging the players and, and uh, you know, giving them that extra. Yeah, because they, they, they deserve it. You know, you see the way they, they put themselves in, in the way of blocks and tackles and, you know, I felt that we were really brave today. You know, I, I do think there was probably six, seven more opportunities where we could have um, got at their back, their back line, and, and gone and hurt them. Um, but I'm not going to be greedy. You know, for a, for the first game, just to show that fight and belief, I, I felt like you know we I wrote up a few things on the board before we went out there, um, and I thought they'd done everything, everything that was asked of them today. Yaki Mate is he uh, close to coming back? Yaki is um, he's doing his rehab here. He's out in the he's out in the grass this week. Maybe the start of next week. Um, so they're all pushing. Oh, the the response I've got off the off the boys has been amazing. You know, you got boys that have been told they're out, they're done for the season, but now they're pushing to get back. You know, and and that's character, and that's what you want in the dressing room. I, I said to him, you know, from a meeting at the start of the week that from the ones 
that start the games to the ones on the bench to the ones that are not in the squad to the injured ones you're going to play a massive part this season and they're all down there today they're all in the round they're all buzzing at the end of the game so um, I love that togetherness um, and that's how we're going to you know how we're going to get out of this is, is by being together First clean sheet of 2020 uh, yeah 2023 now only done it against the Leafs <laughs> um, I didn't I didn't know that um, but look listen Joe, Joe made a great save in the first half um, it's what good, good goalkeepers do um, but to, to limit them to the chances that, that they had uh, you know, was, was a really pleasing thing. I thought we stepped up to the ball really well. Um, and the work that the guys have done and we've done over the last two days obviously has really paid off. So, it's a, it, listen, it was a massive plus. Um, a clean sheet is always a, a huge plus. We'll try our best to get another one now on, on, um, on Wednesday. After results like this, is it always good to get straight back out there and sort of play again and keep that momentum going? Or could yeah, you I, I, also want to, yeah, I also want them to just enjoy that game in terms of the atmosphere how hard they worked for each other. Um, you know, go home tonight, spend some more with their families. Uh, I say to them, that's the most important thing. You go home to your loved ones, your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, whatever it is, um, and, and, and spend that time, you know, uh, with them because it's precious. And then when you come back in Monday morning, we're ready to work towards Wednesday. You know, so everything we do then from Monday, we'll be geared, we'll, we'll send things in tomorrow, little things in the, in the afternoon, evening time that they can look at and stuff in, into the, to their message groups, but um, it's Monday. Monday will come around, and you know we haven't got any time to waste, so we'll um, we'll focus on Wednesday on Monday. No, it looked sorry. Thank God. It, it looked like you were taking a moment to just take everything in before the uh, before the warm up started. Uh, what was kind of going through your head in that moment? Um, I think it was probably the first time it actually sunk in what what I was doing. If that makes sense, I got quite emotional out there. To be fair, um. I didn't think I would. Um, so just just having that, I thought well for a quiet moment while the stadium was empty and um, just just take in the surroundings because anyone I spoke to have said just take it in, you know, take a minute to take it in. And um, I thought this is the first time I'll take it in. So when I went out and walked out, I thought, Jesus, I'm actually managing this team. You know, it was the first time I kind of went, this is it. Like, um, so. Yeah, it was quite emotional, quite a proud moment. I looked at things that I haven't seen before, if that makes sense. I looked at the banners of Coppel's Corner and, you know, and Sir John Majewski, and, and I've obviously looked at Eamon Dolan's stand. Um, and, and I thought, I just felt so proud. Very overwhelming, but proud, you know, and I, it kind of gives you a little bit of a adrenaline rush just to get, to get going, you know. So that, yeah, that was it. Yeah, I didn't expect it, to be honest. And Vincent's just been in here, and he's been very complimentary about the, the desire that your players showed today. Getting up for a, a game like Burnley is obviously, you know, it's probably you know, not that difficult. Well, I say it's not that difficult, you know mm, what I mean. Yeah. But, um, getting up for losing, do you have any worries that there might be any kind of hangover from today? No, it's the same thing. Like, listen, they're an unbelievable side. They're very good at what they do. They're third in the league. They're going down for, for second. I, st I think there's still a chance of that. I'm not sure. Um, so that's that's their hope. That'll be their motivation. And they're going to come here and you know, play like like a team that's that's pushing for automatic promotion. So they'll give everything. They've got nothing to lose. They're, right now during the playoffs, they ain't going to drop over. Um, so I expect them to come here all guns blazing on, on Wednesday. So we've got to be up for the fight. It's, it's quite as simple as that. We've got to expect more of what happened today um, and some. You know, so uh, we've got to prepare properly. You know, <coughs> we can't leave any stone unturned. They're a very good side. Uh, no, you've got a lot of faith in some of the young players, maybe some of them not played enough minutes this season. You must be delighted with the way they followed the game plan. Yeah, listen, they were great. <laughs> apart from, apart from Kelvin A shooting, um, I, I said, I said, what are you doing? You're a, you're a right back. Just cross the ball. Um, but listen, it's great. These kids, you know, they're, they're great kids. I've worked with them all season, um, and you know, we've got some great potential. We've got an, an unbelievable academy, um, and for me, you know, we'll keep on producing players. Um, and, and these boys, I feel, are you know, ready to come in and contribute, especially against a team like Burnley, who have got. You know, Premier League players all over the pitch, um, playing. So, um, you know, they they have a certain no fear about them as well. Um, combine that with a bit of energy, you, you know, you you've got something, um, because they've got quality. You know, so it's just us, you know, making sure we we use them at the right times. And uh, I felt today it was it was a hot day. Um, you see, Femi was out in the the far side in the sun. I thought he hasn't played a lot in, in, uh, this season, so. The last 90 minutes of him would be impossible, um, and, and when he started to cramp, started to tire, I thought, right, just I don't want to lose him. You know, he, he's a 
he's one of the younger ones in, in the senior group, but um, he, he, he's exciting. Having worked with those young players throughout the season, does that help you when you've got such a short period of time? So obviously you're coming on Tuesday, and try to integrate maybe a change of idea or something like that to what's previously been done. But having those youth players to come along with you, worked with you for most of the season, does that help with that transition? Um, yeah, it does. It probably does because um, they know what, we, what I want. I haven't changed. Um, we, we change formations, you know. Um, we play the back three. We play the back four in the twenty ones. Um, we play. We play four four two. Or wherever we play, we play. You know, different things up top. Um, so they all know um, what we try and do. Uh, it probably is easier sometimes when they, when they come on the pitch. But you know, in terms of that, I could have picked Jay Sanger for the bench today. Michael Craig. Um, it was just getting the balance right on the bench for what we needed in terms of the, the game plan going forward. So we, we, we've got plenty of young boys in and around that, that weren't on the bench today, um, like Nelson Abbey and whatnot. So um, they will be all used, I'm sure, because you know we are going to pick up injuries. You know, without a doubt, we can't go through the next four games thinking we're going to cruise through and get four or five back. We ain't. So we have to ha keep them all fit and strong and focused and ready to go in case they need it. And then you mentioned for the players, it's about you know, enjoying the evening with their family. I assume it would be the same for yourself. Yeah, I will. I will enjoy it. I haven't seen my wife or kids really. Well, I've been there, but not there. If that makes sense, I've been, I've been in, a, in the room, but not present. So, um, but luckily enough, I've got I've got an understanding wife who uh, who knows the story, and um, um, I'll I'll spend a bit of time tonight and tomorrow morning. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, man. I just just. Well, yeah, Go on, sorry, I've seen you. Yeah, okay. No, just in terms of, I appreciate you not know, being here in a week, but with points deduction, do you think the players have just had a little bit more time maybe to process like, the shock of that that they maybe didn't over Easter weekend? Yeah, listen, it's been hanging. I think the guys were told probably four or five, six weeks ago that it was coming. You know, yeah. so to have that hanging over you is a massive weight. Um, and when it dropped, I think oh, thank you. the time over was terrible because it dropped over the, the two game weekend. <coughs> You know, to, 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 to go to that and go to levels of performance, it's tough, you know. So um, I'll just say to them, listen, guys, it's done. Them two weeks are out, out the way. Obviously, it's been a stressful two weeks in terms of the, of, of the gaffer going and, and, and a change of personnel. But let's just get, you know, move on from here and, 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 and be free. Nothing else can happen. There's no more sanctions coming. Let's just go and play football. Go enjoy it, you know, back your mates up. Um, and from there, let's see where it takes us. So, you know, I always said like like we feel like we've been the hunted the last six seven weeks. You know, everyone's been gunning for us this that and the other. So turn it around. Let's go be hunters. Let's go look for things. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go fight for points. Let's go. Let's go win points. Let's go hunt teams down, and, and get ourselves out of this this uh, battle ring.